so let's open this next one this again as i mentioned qv air i've started pulling off the top here it looks like this comes out easy and what we can see from the bottom here is there's a hole there's a charge controller obviously because it's a usb and it's do not dispose in the garbage clearly there's a lithium ion battery in this one um let's see how far down i suspect it's the same battery as the last one so probably a battery a charge controller on the side here and then all of this probably all the way up here fluid so that's why it needs to be charged because the battery is not powerful enough to vaporize all the liquid so this is like almost identical to the next one we have the tip filter a rubber again a tube we got a sponge it's not significantly larger i mean it's really i don't see why they really need to actually have a chargeable battery we've got a plastic because of this aluminum housing i guess they assume it would actually react maybe it does so there's a plastic that goes over this coming on the line there's a metal piece on this one and the element is inside here same concept again battery and a piece of foam to make up the shape of this material so that packs in there then we got a hole for the air to come in i had to pry through that and the charge controller same sensor that was actually here so over the hole you get the same sensor and basically it's almost identical um, i'll pop this out we'll see if there's anything we can tell from the charge controller the one other interesting thing about this is this battery is a 650 me right each so it's smaller than the battery for the smaller unit disposable one of course that one is not rechargeable and has to survive the entire line without charging this one is rechargeable so it probably has to at least have one extra charge given the size of this sponge what we'll do is pop this out see if we see anything more take a good picture of that but again almost identical arrangement well unless there's a charge controller in this device this thing is connected direct it's just a usb port so that's straight onto a board the positive and negative indicated coming straight to this device uh, this device obviously was the one that is sensing the intake as i said unless it's actually there's something little chip or something in here straight five volts on the battery so i don't know what happens after the battery has crossed its nominal 4.3 4.4 volts i don't know it'll overcharge possibly explode well as you can see the case is aluminum that turned not to be easy this looks like aluminum uh that's what three six holes there was a sliding around a ring on the top and then this little chip there's a number on that chip it seems to be a bga there seems to be a capacitor next to it so let's have a look at that and see if that has any charge control capabilities um i'm not quite sure how that senses when air is flowing over it let's see what the numbers can reveal